Question 26 is a spinner with five numbers on it. We're given the probability distribution and we have to explain why a equals 1, find the expected value and then find the variance. So the thing that hasn't been given to you is that little column on the end that adds things up, but we should know that all of these probabilities need to add to 1. So explaining why a equals 1, you could add these four numbers together and you should get 0.9. And then in the explanation, I just write a sentence saying uh, all the probabilities must add to 1, therefore a must equal 0 0.1 to make that happen. Um, and you can actually just show it like you could, you could put 0.1 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.4 plus a plus 0 0.15 equals 1, therefore a equals 1. That's probably how I'd do it. Uh, finding the expected value and the variance should be pretty straightforward. This is a procedure that you should know. Finding the expected value, easiest way to do it is to make another row and then multiply each score by its probability. So working our way along here, we've got 0 0.1, 2 multiplied by this is 0 0.5, 1.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.75. And then we add all of these together because remember the expected value of x is the sum of each score multiply it by its probability and when we add all those up we get 2.95. Now as soon as you get a number here that is not a whole number or an integer it makes sense to use the second formula for variance. It's just going to be a little bit easier to calculate and the second formula says let's sum all the x squareds multiplied by their probabilities and then after that at the very end subtract mu squared. So writing down that formula helps keep it in your head what you need to do. I'm going to add a row and write down each score squared multiplied by its probability because these numbers are nice and easy to square. 1 squared is just 1 multiplied by 0.1, it's point, still 0.1. 2 squared is 4 and 4 lots of this is 1. 3 squared is 9, 9 multiplied by 0.4 is 3.6. 4 squared is 16 multiplied by 0.1 is 1.6. 5 squared is 25 multiplied by its probability gives you 3.75 and then when you add all of these up you get 10.05. So at the end you need to say well that's 10.05 minus mu squared which is 2.95 squared and when you put all that in your calculator you get 1.3475. Now if you'd used the first formula that would have been fine but instead on this row you would have needed to take the mean away from each score and then square it. And then on the row below you'd need to multiply those by the probabilities and then when you add them up then you'd have your 1.3475 at the end of that.